Many of you know that I've an interest in Greenland style kayaking, um, paddling with a Greenland paddle for many years and um, been teaching a few of the roles um, along the way and how to use the Greenland paddle um, in, in the modern kayaking situation that we find ourselves here in Europe with a larger volume kayaks and Euro paddles. Now one of the things that interests me is how we can adapt the Greenland style paddling techniques into um, the modern kayaking uh, that we have today using Euro paddles, larger volume kayaks and so on. And uh, many of the skills that the Inuit used with the Greenland paddle don't transfer too well. Uh, some of the roles are much more difficult with the Euro paddle than with the Greenland paddle, which is a superb um, paddling tool. But there is, there is one that stands out for me, um, a technique that uh, we are familiar with in, uh, in, in, in the south, if you like, the south of Greenland or the Europe. Um, um, but it's not, it's not um, I don't think it's taught and emphasized on how good it actually is. It's, uh, it's an incredible technique. So we're going to look at this technique. You can use it for rolling um, and other things as well. But it's the first thing that I teach people nowadays um, when we're embarking on rolling classes and things like that. And I think it's possibly one of the most useful techniques that you can possibly learn in kayaking. Um, it's, I think it's that important. And uh, this, this will be a, the first video is on learning the technique itself. Hopefully we will be doing some more. Alan and I, um, as time goes on, possibly uh, doing a rolling um, video, which will use Greenland style techniques and it will incorporate this technique in and you'll, you'll get a, a flavor for it today on how useful it is particularly when that, uh, that proactive or reactive role, I should say, it doesn't quite work for you. But anyway, let's take a look. Okay, today we're gonna to have a look at sculling or more particularly at uh, side sculling. It's a technique that the Inuits use to great effect. Now Alan here is showing the basics of the sculling. So you can see the leading edge of the paddle is higher than the trailing edge. This will provide the support that you need. So there's lift being generated by the paddle in the water. Don't overdo it, it's just a subtle um, <clears throat> difference between the leading edge and the trailing edge. Here you can see perhaps just a little bit exaggerated but um, this gives you an idea that leading edge has got to be climbing all the time to give you that lift which will give you a huge amount of support when you need it. Greenland paddle again just a subtle twist of the wrist just to get that leading edge above the trailing you can see the Greenland paddle moves through the water beautifully. It's uh, perfect for this. Okay, in the kayak. So with the Euro paddle, like the Greenland paddle, you can use both faces. So if you're in a high brace position and you uh, are using the sculling technique, then that's the drive face. And if you're in a low brace and you want to have a continual support from the sculling action, you can see the back of the paddle works just as well as the face. Probably better actually with the Euro paddle. This is, uh, this is a typical continuous support stroke. Now, typically when people start to learn this technique, this is the sort of action that they do. You can see the paddle is going in an arc. What we actually want is the paddle to go in a straight line. So Alan's going to uh, go into the side skull, what's called a side skull position. And he's just paddling, sculling backwards and forwards, paddle near the surface, the higher the better. Just getting that leading edge just to keep climbing as he goes backwards and forwards. You can see it's very gentle, very easy, controlling the kayak with his knees. 
He's in full control of the situation here, holding that kayak away from his body. And now he's just bringing it over. Just, you can see he's keeping his nose out of the water, so he's perfectly fine. He could stay there for ages. And then just a bit of skull, a bit of a leverage, and up you come. So here it is again. Leading edge as he pulls back in a straight line. And that paddle's trying to climb, and you're putting a little bit of weight on it giving you the support you need just to uh, maintain your position in the water. There we go. Now we're going to have a little roll. And as you can see, the roll didn't work first time, which is uh, it's not uncommon. But Alan doesn't worry about that. He just goes into the skull, puts himself into the side skull position and just gives him that little bit of support while he sorts himself out. And up he comes. Again, the initial roll didn't work quite as he'd intended, so he just put a few skulls in there, settled himself down. Here we see it with the Euro paddle. I always extend the Euro paddle, um, as I do with the Greenland paddle. Huge amount of extra leverage, so it's there, so why not use it? Good practice method here. This is just dropping into the side skull position and getting used to and trusting the technique to give you everything you need to keep you, your face out of the water and breathing while you sort yourself out. Here we go again, just extend that paddle, give yourself all the leverage. The kayak is moved with the knees there first and there's the roll. See I've continued sculling there until I was sat upright and safely uh, in an upright position. So keep, keep the skull going until you're upright fully. You never know. This is a practice again. So just drop into the side skull, try and get your shoulders level with the water and just settle into it and just slow things down. When you're ready, just come back up, giving yourself sculling support all the way. Sculling support's useful for getting into the kayak, as you can see here. So I'm going to lean slightly to the right side, the sculling side, just to support me getting into the kayak. And then when I'm settled, I can stop sculling. And the same here, getting out. So I'm going to scull on one side. And I'm just going to put a little bit of weight on that side so that uh, the kayak won't flip over on the other side in there. I'm now ready to get out nice and safely. Beauty of the sculling technique is that it's, you don't have to hurry up. You can take your time and up you come. It's a very gentle, easy technique once you're confident with it. So when it, you, whenever anything goes wrong, just put yourself into a little skull there. There was just a very brief one there, but I didn't need to worry about too much of a sweep or setup. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed the video and uh, Thanks for watching.